What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another banger. Back with another review. Before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you stay in tune with the reviews on Feast, Sneaker Vlog, and Sneaker News, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom! We have it here. Another pickup from D. T L R and let's just say they came in a clutch. Now rumor has it this shoe was supposed to be limited to 8,000 pairs, right? But and only limited to boutiques, but DTLR has gotten it. Sneaker app hasn't released it yet. A lot of people out like didn't know what information was going on, but huh, your boy got it, man. And people was camping for this joint. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this shoe might be one of those shoes that bring back bring back the Jordan one. Go ahead and pull this joint out. Oh yeah, y'all see what's going on. Yeah, retail boys is in the building. Yes, your boy hit on the raffle. Yes, your boy got these joints for retail show. Yeah, man, y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all saw this box probably a million times on YouTube, man. Y'all see what's going on. This is my first time seeing them in person. Saw them online. They didn't look all that online, but let's see how they look in person, man. One thing that geeked me up, not gonna lie, hyped me up. Top of the lid with the X, the bad X. Um, flipping the lid on it. Do got your uh, lock number right there. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. For them boys that think we be pump faking, detail our receipts. If you wanna, hold on, detail our receipt. Just for any of them boys, everything we be pump faking out here. Here go the receipt. Your boy did pay a total of 180, 190. I didn't get my 25 off because I got it on the Brotherhood. But yeah, it, but I didn't get my 25 off because I uh, used it on the Brotherhood. But let's go ahead and read this box label on this joint, man. Box label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is black, white, particle gray, nor gris, particle blanc. Again, no USD retail price on this joint. Don't know what Nike's doing, but they haven't been putting that retail sticker on their shoes for anybody that needs to do any legit checks. Here's the box label. Hopefully that's focusing up. There's the box label for y'all. Let me focus it up a little bit more. Here's the box label. For anybody that needs to do a legit check, this is the time. Watch who you buying from, man, because it's, it's real out here. And there is a, ooh, that leather hitting me already. And there is a lot number under here. I think I showed that already. The paper is what started pulling me in off top. You see it, it got that OG kind of feel with the commercial paper, from the commercial, from the original Air Jordan 1 bread band commercial. This is this is how it looks right here on the paper. Let's go ahead and open this joint up. They got it right here again. And then they have the shoes. The shoes is covered by some white paper. So it is double layer paper then. Boom, let's go ahead. Ooh, okay. All right. Oh, all right. All right, right here, y'all. Pull this other one out. Okay. All right. Hopefully y'all can see that, that's how the paper look. And like I said, it just kind of got that OG um, band one commercial or bread one commercial from when they banned, when they made the ad for the sneakers being banned from the NBA, but people still being able to wear them. 81, no, 81, 1985 style, man. So yeah, man, boom, we have it here, the Air Jordan 1. Rebellion air or rebellion rebellion or rebellion air. Yeah, I don't I think it's rebellion or rebellion air. One or the other. But either way, man, we have it here in hand. And off tops, man. It's giving me shadow vibes. It's giving me shadow vibes. But but looking at these joints in hand. Ooh, uh, I'm liking it, bro. It's like a little those subtle differences that I'm looking at it, man. They it can't. It's like little writing all over. They can't ban you from wearing them. That's what it says all the way around it. They can't ban you. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. They can't ban you from wearing them. Woo! Y'all see what's going on in the back with that X. Yeah, man. I think it's going to be one of those shoes that people not sleep on. Um, because this shoe does remind me of the Air Jordan 1 um, Jeter. 
think the Air Jordan 1 Jeter was kind of similar. It had some writing all the way around. Uh, and I think it was black and white, though. I think the shoe was black and white. But this one right here, man, totally, totally different. Let me kind of get close so y'all can see some of those details on the shoe. Now, as far as the actual material of the shoe, I'm not going to say... It's not like a leather. It kind of feel like a new buck on this joint. And then they got some type of vinyl all the way around the shoe. I do like how um, the can't the can't ban you from wearing them part is like kind of etched in on the actual uh, new buck or it's like flat. I don't know if it's flat leather, new buck. It's not suede. It's definitely not a suede. Or it, kinda, it might be a suede. I'm not sure. But I like how they have this all over the shoe. Uh, quick review, man. I know I'm talking just rambling. Bottom of the shoe is gray right here. I like that part. Nothing nothing too crazy about it. Kept it very minimal. Midsole is uh, white with white stitching. You get to your upper. And again, it's giving me shadow vibes. You know, you got your uh, black and gray hits all the way throughout the shoe. Your gray on the heel and on the ankle area. You got the black on the toe cap area. And uh, that gray on the toe box. Gray on the swoosh on the lateral and medial side, man. Up there in the corner, Wings logo. Wings logo is all black. Boom, and I like man. I like. I actually, I actually like this shoe. This is a. They killed it with this one. They killed it with this one. I like the way they went the extra mile, and they didn't charge an extra hefty fee on top of going the extra mile. This is storytelling. Now I wish they woulda. Um, I, I wish they kind of woulda did it on the bread colorway, but seeing that they already did a, a red band sneaker, maybe that's why they didn't do it. But I could see this as a bread shoe. They should have did this as a bread. But um, here's the insole, uh, insole. Here's a shoe tree right here. Behind it, it does say die cut sock liner. Don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it does say die cut sock liner behind that. Um, this is what's going on behind the tongue. For anybody that's trying to do any legit checks, got your Nike Air right here. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my insole for y'all, man. Ooh, easy as pie to lift up the insole. Insole looks like this with the glue behind it. Right here on the uh, inside, you do have the Nike Air with the size and tag. And this is how the inside looks, y'all. For anybody that's trying to do any legit checks on your sneaker, this is how the inside looks. Nothing too crazy going on. It is white stitching all the way around. Don't know if y'all can see the size and tag. Try to focus on that. Oh, oh. Don't know if y'all can see that all, but that's a size and tag right there. See if y'all can see in that info, but that's what's going on right there on the size and tag. These were produced around September 1st, 2021 to November 2021, man. No extra. Oh, I lied. Almost lied. Almost lied. It did come with some extra laces, an extra set of white laces. Um, they should have put some gray laces like they did the original shadow joints but yeah man i think it's a dope shoe i they didn't miss on this one this is one of those jordan ones of the year i don't mind keeping in the collection uh especially with that whole this whole band series i definitely not getting rid of this joint it's definitely staying in the collection i want to know from y'all what y'all think about this joint is it hot is it not is it something that you wanted to pick up but couldn't get prices are going back up I did see them teeter below $300. Um, these was going for about $450 about a week and a half ago, but now they're down to like $300. So I want to know from y'all, man, what y'all think about the Air Jordan 1 Re uh, Rebellion or Rebellionaire? I, I, I forgot the name. I might put it somewhere in there, but I think it's dope, man. Black nylon tongue. You got that Nike Air right there. And um, I think that's a white. Yeah, and a white black sock liner you got that can't stop you or can't ban you from wearing them all over the sneaker i'm talking about everywhere on the swoosh on uh on the flat uh leather area on the toe box yeah this is dope this is dope i ain't gonna lie to you i'm not i'm not hyping the shoe up i wasn't really a big fan of it i thought it was gonna be like like a patent leather material as well um but having these in hand right now these are dope just the storytelling alone makes me want to keep this um quality wise Cause I, I don't, this hit me. The leather is hit me like a, whoa, like a shot of back boy. I'm, I'm loving the smell of this leather. I ain't did that many ones in a minute, but this joint right here, whoa, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Jordan Brand, Nike. Good job, Nike. Good job, Jordan Brand, man. Ten out of ten quality. Ten out of ten craftsmanship. Ten out of ten 
creativity with the box, with the paper, with the shoe, 10 out of 10, man. I wanna know from y'all, what's y'all rating, man? What do y'all rate it? Do y'all think the Air Jordan 1 Re Re Rebellion or Rebellionaire is gonna continue to go up and resell? I'm keeping it just because I think it's a dope shoe. And uh, shout out to uh, DTLR for allowing me to, you know, have the honor to win on the raffle system for this sneaker right here. Very, very dope shoe, and I'm glad I have it in the collection, man. But yeah, thank y'all for watching, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.